Hi and welcome back to my channel. This is part two of my Waddle um, Bush Baby journal. Um, if you missed part one, I'll leave a link up here and um, you can follow that. And uh, in part one, we just covered the... Um, uh, covered the... made the cover, built it, and um, uh, put some hessian on it, put a closure on it, and... Um, just put some really pretty lining, you know, in here to um, dress it up. So that was part one. Now, um, what I wanted to say also is that this journal is now on hold already. So thank you to the, the lovely lady who um, requested to buy this journal before it's even finished. But I said to her, look, I don't want you to pay any money until you've watched the videos, you see what's in here and you ab you do absolutely like it. So so it is on hold at the moment. She has first um, dibs on it. So one other thing I was gonna mention, which I should have when I did my journal, the cover, when I did the um, spine, like this, I didn't bother with this one because the fabric was quite thick um, in here and it's really strong, really strong. Um, but if I'm doing a journal that hasn't got that strength, especially with the cover, I bought some of this, I just got it, I just get it from the op shop. Um, there's always this at the op shops. You find it in the um, section where you know you get all the curtains and things and there's always heaps of curtain rings and and bits and pieces for curtains and it's just like a really thick interfacing and what i do is i put it down as my in my spine to um give it some strength so um yeah i just wanted to mention that to you i don't normally just put a piece of fabric there i usually put um, some of this on there first to strengthen it but I knew that they um this um what do you call it uh this not velour um velvet it's quite thick so I didn't bother with that so but that's something to look out for when you're at the op shop it's very handy I've got I got that and I got another roll um, a little while ago because I've used quite a bit of that so all right so today we're going to be working on I just put some things in a container here so my mess could be under control um, I'll just put that up there we're going to be working on the baby's face so what what I want to do Look, I'm not sure. I've seen people um, um, take the actual face off with acetone. I'm not sure whether I want to do that. I Because if you look at um, the gum baby's faces, you see here, they've got little round eyes. This one doesn't. And it does look different. It does make it look different. So, I'm not sure whether to take the face off and put a new face on. I think I might just leave it because um, I'm not real learned in um, doing that type of thing. So, what I'm going to do is cut, cut some of this baby's face down. Um, because I don't want it sitting up that high. So, I've just got a pencil and I just held my pencil here and just turned the baby's head and that gave me a fairly even you know line all the way around all right now i want to um i should actually glue it onto something like this is just I've never done this before, so it's just all trial and error. Um, actually, I might put on a bit of this fabric. So I'm just going to glue it on, and it'll just give me a base to work around. So 
So, now, now I had a little play with the yarn, but I didn't like how it was coming out. See, this is my um, wire brush. It, you just get it from the hardware section and it just poofs out all the, you know, your yarn and stuff. But I was having a look through some of my bits and pieces and I found this yellow fiber in my box. So, I'm going to have a go at working with that, I think. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna cut a few little pieces down first. So what I wanna do first is go like over, make it like a little fringe or put some bangs on her. Now I'll just trim around the edge of here. Right. Now what we need to do is go around, around the baby. That's better. What do you think of the face? Nah, <laughs> she's cute. She's cute. All right. Now we just need to let that dry. All right, what I'm going to do is um, cut this leaf down. 
and use it as a stalk on on her head so Right, so I'm going to glue that in there. Uh, glue. Mm. Mm, she's pretty cute. Um, I've got some flowers together because it's not just going to be the baby's head on here. Okay, I'm going to put some other bits and pieces on. Now, I'm pretty sure I'm going to go with this doily. I think it'll look the best um, on here. I think it goes that way. Let me just have a quick little look how big that is. Oh, how cute is it? How cute is it? Oh, you got some glue on you. Alright, so what I want to do now is glue this down. I want to make a couple of yo-yo flowers. Um, I might just do it in a section that's got a lot of colour on it. Oh, they're not really good. I wonder where my other scissors have gone. Oh, my scissors always disappear. These are fabric ones, but they're not real good. All right, yeah, yeah, flowers are really easy. You just um, cut a circle and it doesn't have to be a precise circle either. Like that, and I've got a needle and thread here. And you just go around the outside of the circle. Gather it all up. Okay, so you just gather that up. Like that. Probably will know how to do a yo-yo flower. And then I'm just going to tie it off. And then you proof it down this way. And that's a little yo-yo flower. So what I want to do on the cover is add bits and pieces um, like that to it. We're going to go ahead and glue some little sprays on as well of this. I might pick two or three. The, you get a fair bit off that if you wanted to make another one. I just want to play with it. Where was the little one that I had? See, I cut some of these down as well. Plus, they'll be able to glue them under the head better. I'm just wondering whether I might need my hot glue gun for this part. And I want to stick it... I want to stick it so down so that, it's, you know, it's not just flapping around um, as well. So I may need to get the hot glue gun out. 
Now, I don't like the fact that these leaves are almost the same color as that. That really bothers me, it really bothers me. So I might get my paint out and mix some color together. I think they're dry enough now to put on. So, where's my little sprays? So what I'm going to do, I should have put, um, Tiniest little bit of paint on here too. Um, yeah, what am I doing? All right, I'm going to put some in there. Some in there. And then I'm going to add little sprays coming off them as well. I don't want to put too much. I don't want to overdo it. Um, it'll be easy to overdo it. Like it has to be simple, but pretty, doesn't it? So maybe just some more leaves around there. We'll just take her off. Leave in the Oops. Okay, I've just stuck that on. And then I'm going to glue the flowers on let's glue her down so if you're new here i would love it if you'd subscribe to my channel i'd love to have you here with me this is part two and i would love you to come back for part three which i'll finish off the decorations on this we've got the face on we've got the leaves in um, which I've painted and some wattle and then we'll come back and we'll use up these decorations as well all right so thanks for watching um, don't forget to subscribe <laughs> and um, hit that bell button for notifications share and give me a thumbs up let me know in the comments what you think already of this it's um something i've never made before so it's all um um you know try as you go and um i hope the lady that <laughs> wants to buy this is still liking it um how it's coming up i think it looks great i love it anyway all right so this is how far it sticks out from the Front. it's not too bad it only be wouldn't be more than an inch so um, I just love it all right catch you real soon bye